Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla. And as you've just seen, it's motorcycle season. But I am not on a motorcycle. I racked myself up at the end of last season. But there's a solution for this. New motorcycle. I'm in. Since Lemmy's got one foot, we figured we might as well find some bike that you can just hit the button and go. Are you Scott, the guy with the motorcycle? We need as much motorcycle as possible for the shortest amount of money. Oh. Woo. If you broke the motorcycle already, I'm gonna be sorely disappointed in you. Whoa. Yeah, this bike is fun, man. So my area, I have 209 bikes. I actually have to like bring up the minimum amount of dollars because I'm getting too much crap. crap. It's like... yeah, yeah. Let's, let's try that. So we hopped on Craigslist with the uh, intention of finding a bike around maybe a thousand bucks for Lemmy to ride while his foot is busted. You know, obviously us being old bike guys, we want to find super old, interesting things. This does not apply. I looked up shovel head and I only show two. You could not pay me to own another shovel head. Ooh, here we go. Perfect. Kawasaki trike. <laughs> no. Very neat. Oh, this is again, oh, totally really? inappropriate, but I really want one. A KE 100. The cutest little you bike. You could just ride Brandon's. I, I want my own. Why are you looking at that? Look at this. This is an 800 Marauder 2002 for 1500 bucks. Why not both? We don't have that kind of money. XL350 Supermoto, yes. Totally inappropriate. Totally Dude, you're inappropriate. you're not looking at appropriate machines for the Stop task at hand. I think we need to like give you some snacks and a nap so, so you can come back and focus. You know, it's just gonna make it worse. Maybe I should leave the picking up to you. So when we first started bike shopping, I shopped the way I usually shop, which is I'm shopping not with my brain, but with my heart. Um, and I think everybody does that to some degree or another. I mean, there's a jillion cool bikes that we saw that are wholly inappropriate for what we're doing, but I still really want to kind of give them a home in my garage. However, it, it was really important to not do that. Um, and some of the things that we needed became apparent very quickly. Since Lemmy's old bikes have Kickstarters and crappy brakes and things like that, and he's got one foot, we figured we might as well find something that's got electric start, nice hydraulic brake on it, it's easy to use. We're not looking for a huge restoration project here. CB750 for a thousand bucks. Yamaha 500, 1978. 82 GS 1100. Oh yes. Whoa, yeah. It's a Nighthawk S. Here's a Rebel. It's a contender, how much? 1450. Oh, too much. Don't I'm they not cost that brand that new? Much for that. 87 SRX 250. Cowie 454 LTD. Oh, Virago Cafe bike. Ooh, Honda Shadow. 86, oh, it's a 500 though. Nothing fancy. Driven every day, weather permitted. You know what bugs me is when people say they're driving a motorcycle. Yeah. I don't know why, it shouldn't, but yeah. it bothers me. How do you operate a boat? I don't, I have a friend operate a boat. <laughs> is the boat operator a seaman? I don't think you can say that on TV. <laughs> 75 Suzuki TS100. Dude, look at this thing, a VX800. All right, I actually kind of like that. It's like a naked V-twin sport bike that's a cafe. It's the grandfather <laughs> of the SV650. 950 bucks? Yeah, call him. Let's do it. Call the dude. Need help? No, I'm good, thank you. Old gramps. You know, I have my vintage British bikes at home, but I also have my modern Tiger. I can hit the button and go, that's my daily. Lemmy doesn't have that. This is gonna be his back and forth to work bike for a little while, and then at the end of the day, maybe we can flip it and make a couple bucks. All right, here we go. Thank you for calling Wilson Honda. This is Chantal, how can I help you? Hey, could you direct us to Freddy? Um, he's actually talking to a customer. Is there something I can help you with, or can I take a message? Uh, we're giving a call about a uh, motorcycle he's got for sale on Craigslist, the VX800. Yeah. Yes. So the VX800 it sold yesterday. Oh. All right. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right. Eh. Well, I'm gonna continue looking. 
All right, what do we got there? 74 Honda 400, automatic, in good condition. No trad and need no help selling. Local pickup on Lou. <laughs> do we need trad? <laughs> Did he put the handlebars upside down? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Never. Well, wait, wait, no, no, we're already out on this? <laughs> that guy. I don't want to meet anybody. What about this? 96, 96 Suzuki Intruder. 1200 bucks, needs a front tire. Probably beat him down to a grand. Uh, you want to call him up? Yeah, give him a shout. Hey, is Scott in? Yes, sir. Scott, how's it going? My name's Lemmy. Um, I'm calling about your motorcycle. Yeah. When are you available to show this bike? Right, I can show anything anytime. Cool. Do you mind if we swing by, say, maybe around 3 or so? That's fine. Cool, man. All right, I'll see you around then. We'll Bye. see you this afternoon. Let's go. Insured, thanks. All right, I'm in. <laughs> he is in. Hey, we're here to see a guy about a motorcycle. Are you Scott, the guy with the motorcycle? Yes, I'm Scott. <laughs> How you doing? We rolled in and I, I met Scott. I instantly went to kind of his person. So I see a guy who's a little bit older. That's great. It means this motorcycle was probably owned by somebody reasonably responsible. I also really dug the fact that he had us to his place of business. That's a great sign. You know, when you meet somebody in a in, in sort of a middle ground, you don't really, you know, they don't have much skin in the game, but this guy right off the bat was willing to let us know where he works. It, it kind of immediately put me at ease buying this bike. No oil leaks. Typical of a that's Suzuki. All, that's all I say, exactly. <laughs> No chain to worry well, it about. It must run because he rode it here. <laughs> I had a car and a woman pulled in front of me and I got an insurance check from the car and I said, well, I fixed the car much less and so I'm just gonna buy a motorcycle with it. So that's what made me buy the bike. I think this thing ought to be just about perfect. This tire's pretty good. It's low enough too. I think I could probably stand it up. Are you allowed to sit on it? May I, yeah, may I, may I sit yeah, on it? Is that, yeah, is that permissible? Yeah. I can almost like feel the freedom coming off of it's, you right There's now. so much freedom right now. Oh yeah, I can stand that up it's easily. A great machine. Yeah, it should be perfect. I like the mids. It's a lot like my Shadow. I had a uh, 86 Shadow for a little bit. Yeah, I feel like yeah, a lot of these Metro Cruisers are sort of similar in like your seating arrangement. Yeah, mm -hmm. that should be that should be just about perfect. So I'm not I'm not trying to offend. I'm just pointing out stuff I see. So we got that tire it needs. Looks like we got a little exhaust leak over oh, yeah. here. Oh yeah. That See that? Bit. And then that, this rear, this rear's not looking phenomenal. The paint fade, I'm not worried about. Are you, do you see anything that's like jumping out to you? No, I mean, the fork seals aren't leaking. Um, all the chrome looks pretty good. Like paint would polish up. Yeah. I think it'll clean up pretty um, nice. This intake is cracked a little bit here, but that's kind of par for the course. Did you, I saw you checking out the boot on the drive shaft. Is that all right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, in looking at this bike, you know, Joe and I, I know we're immediately picking it apart, trying to figure out what stood out to us. What were the potential red flags on this thing? I mean, obviously, this thing's got some sun fading on it for sure. I, when I looked at the front fork legs, first thing I noticed was some corrosion of the aluminum on there. Pretty obvious this bike has lived, if not its entire life outside, at least a significant portion. But the bike itself seemed to be your average 20-some-year-old motorcycle. This thing was just in need of a little bit of refreshing. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape. It just looks like it's older, and maybe Scott was starting to fall out of love with this motorcycle. He mentioned he got a new bike. It sounded like he was pretty proud of that. He showed me a couple of pictures of it. My guess was, you know, as he sort of mentally got into that new bike, he sort of checked out of this one a little bit. And this is the perfect time for us to kind of swoop in and grab this thing, a reasonable motorcycle for a reasonable price. You're asking how much on it again? 1,200. Would you, would you take eight on her? Would take eight? Uh, how about a thousand? That'll leave enough room to get a tire and maybe find another seat. Caller nine, we got a deal. All right. All right, All right man. We'll do it nine. Cool. Awesome. That's a hell of a let's, deal. Uh, yeah, let's do some paperwork. Yeah. Cool. We got a project. Um, one of the things I did was ask Scott exactly what he was asking out of this bike. You'd be surprised, a lot of times sellers will give up some money right on the front side. He didn't do that, he held to his number for sure. Um, and my whole goal was to beat him down as, as far as I could without insulting the poor guy. Oh, you need help now. No, I don't. Stay there. Dude, don't do this. Back up, back up. 
the back up. You know, when somebody holds onto a bike for such a long time and then kind of suddenly gets rid of it, it's a little bit of a question like, oh, maybe it needs like a big service and it's gonna be expensive. But, you know, it just got to the point where he got himself a new bike. I think that for the money, we got a pretty banging deal. I think that the Suzuki is going to be a pretty cool machine for us to fix up and get back on the road. So, what do you think? Uh, what do you think this bike's going to need? Uh, a front tire, since I can see how bald it is. Right here. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? I was looking, and I, if you look really close, you can actually see the air in the tire. If that's the worst of it, like we're in good shape, you know, what are we going to spend 50 bucks, 60 bucks on a new Shinko or whatever? You know, fluids and stuff like that, battery maybe. I think for maybe a couple hundred bucks more, like we'll have a really dialed in machine. Barring any like real crazy surprises, which I don't think will happen. That front brake felt soft to me. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know what's up with that. Like just when we were putting it on the truck, it felt a little funny. I'd like to sort of dig in there a little bit. And then um, that exhaust leak is a little concerning. Like I'm not crazy worried about it, but yeah, I would I like would to get in there to go on eBay and find a stock muffler for that thing because it's really freaking loud. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna cross you on this one. I don't think so. And here's why I'm saying that. How long am I gonna be riding this bike for? Three months tops. I mean, there's like 50 bucks, right, that we could spend A, somewhere else, or B, not spend at all, and make it a little bit easier to resell this thing. Remember, if we're trying to recoup every dollar I got into this. I think it would be way easier to resell a bike that's quiet than one that sounds like it's going to blast your eardrums out. Uh, I don't disagree with you, but then you can just put in the description, aftermarket exhaust. People love that sort of thing. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm with you. If I was keeping the bike forever, yeah, I would totally throw a set of stock You literally on it, started that whole segment by saying, let me cross you. <laughs> and now you just finished it by saying, I'm with you. No, you I mean, I'm, I'm, with mind, you. <laughs> I'm with you on the idea of like a quiet bike would be better. But like, I'm not thinking this is my bike. I'm thinking about this as a bike that like I'm going to ride for a little bit and I got to get back out into the world without getting hurt financially. On okay. It. Well, you're going to have to spend some money on some earplugs. <laughs> Steal them out of your tank bag. Get the rant. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Thanks for the help, man. We did it. Right. We'll work on it a different day. Sounds good. <laughs> Going up.